Welcome to part two of our five part series in which we look at a number of scripts and extensions that will help your workflow become way more efficient inside of After Effects. In episode one, we looked at Anchor Sniper, which is gonna be situated somewhere on the top of this screen. And in episode two, we're gonna look at K-Bar. K-Bar really broke my Twitter feed when it came out. Now let's not beat around the bush. After Effects has a ton of functionality. However, finding those specific effects and menu items can sometimes be a little tedious. With a customizable toolbar in which you can add any effect to it, K-Bar looks to squash that. Okay, so K-Bar, it's $39.99. Why is it worth it? Well, here I have the foundation for an animation for uh, a subscription button that needs to be in the style of sort of like a B horror movie. So what I would probably look to do is use a number of effects which I use near enough in the majority of my projects. So the first would be modulation, add that to the text. Uh, note that was to the adjustment layer, add that to the text. And I would then probably just look to go to the face, set a keyframe, bring that across slightely adjust it, let's have a look at this. Okay, that's looking very old school. And then I would add my ultimate favorite plugin, Deep Glow. Goodbye After Effects Glow. I have never used anything since. Deep Glow is the bomb. So that's looking fantastic already. Um, and then I would probably look to go in and go to the position, and add a wiggle of maybe uh, 10 over five. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, so it's got that old school sort of uh, 16 millimeter film look or VHS look uh, at the end of, um, or at the beginning of a horror film. So I'm really happy with that, um, but could we make it more efficient with K-Bar? Yes, we could. So let's close all these, remove these effects and go to window extensions K-Bar 1. So this panel pops up. Um, I've got it docked already on the left hand side, but like every other plugin throughout this video series, they can usually be docked anywhere. And you will see a variety of icons on the toolbar. These are not default icons. These represent certain effects, expressions, and menu functions that I use all the time. So modulation, I'm just gonna click this, instantly added to the text. Uh, deep glow represented by this bulb icon. I'm gonna add this instantly added to the text. What about a wiggle expression? Let's make sure position is active. This button represents the wiggle. I'm gonna press that and now it's been added. So let's think about the steps that we ran through. There was a number of searching. I had to press the stopwatch and type in the wiggle expression. Whereas with K-Bar, it's all done with a few clicks. Yes, I need to go in and add the keyframe to the phase on the modulation, and I maybe might have to decrease the wiggle strength if it's too strong. But overall, that just saved so much time. And you can add a lot more than just effects and expressions. So if we go up to here and press add button, we can see that it runs from presets all the way down to shell commands. The opportunities for making After Effects your true workhorse with this tool is undisputed. It is really, really useful. So let's just run you through an example now so you know how to get it set up. In the first episode, I ran over the very useful tool, Anchor Sniper. And I did mention that we could go to Layer, Transform, Center Anchor Point in Layer Content in order to snap it to the center point. Well, we could kind of do that with this script. Perhaps you don't have enough funds to buy both extensions and just the one, and you just wanna get K-Bar. So let's go here, and I'm gonna select Invoke Menu Item because it's a menu item from up there. I'm gonna type in Anchor and press Center Anchor Point in Layer Content. Here I'm gonna call it a Fake Anchor Sniper. I think that'd be a good name. And for the icon, uh, let's see. So they got a crosshairs. Just in general, the amount of icons available is vast. So let's go to the crosshairs. And we're probably gonna give it the color red because uh, that's the color you, what you get when you get a headshot in a video game. So there we go. So that's been added. So now remember, if you've watched episode one, we know that that there is the anchor point for the subscribe text. I'm gonna click this 
and it's instantly snapped to the center. So we've also just created um, a very primitive version of Anchor Sniper in KBar. So these toolbars are fully customizable, they're shareable, and they really speed up your process inside of After Effects. All right, I've been Lewis with Fedivo, and this has been one episode of our helpful scripts and extensions for After Effects. If you haven't watched the others, they will be dotted somewhere around the video, so be sure to check them out.